Thank you for your interest in We Make Milton and for checking in on big question number six, dealing with rural living. Big question number six asks, how can Milton's new official plan recognize and support Milton's unique rural area? How can we improve livability, achieve healthy rural communities, and provide greater choice to rural residents? As mentioned earlier, the focus of stage three is on opportunities to respond to our community and stakeholder needs, concerns, and desires, and to craft a locally responsive official plan. However, there are a number of policy areas and directions that are guided by provincial and regional policies where we have limited choices and limited options. If you'd like to read more about these policy areas where we have limited choice and options, readers should review the detailed reports that are available online. These policy areas are also summarized in this table. Specifically, provincial plans and policies require Milton to direct future growth in the rural area to our hamlets. However, it is noted that this growth will be limited. It also requires Milton to promote the vitality and regeneration of our hamlets, and we're required to provide more housing choice throughout rural Milton by permitting additional residential units. Readers should refer to big question number one, called affordability and housing choice for a more detailed discussion on additional residential units. Once again, when we talk about policy areas where we have limited options for the new Milton official plan, it's helpful to define certain terms. For example, when we're talking about healthy rural communities, certain features of rural areas like low population density and expansive landscape and dispersed populations all challenge this notion of compact and mixed use complete communities. Therefore, since rural areas are inherently different from urban ones, a unique approach is necessary when it comes to community design for healthy built environments in rural places. We're not saying that a healthy rural community can't exist, but not all the building blocks that may be present in an urban area will occur in a rural area. The term rural area has a specific meaning in the planning world. The provincial policy statement defines the rural area as a system of lands within municipalities that may include rural settlement areas or hamlets, rural lands, prime agricultural areas, natural heritage features and areas, and resource areas. Notably, Milton's rural area currently makes up 77% of our total municipal land base. Hamlets, which are also called rural settlement areas in the provincial policy statement, also have a very specific planning definition. The regional official plan defines hamlets as compact rural communities designated to accommodate future residential growth in the rural area, as well as small scale industrial, commercial and institutional uses that primarily serve the farming and rural communities. Milton's hamlets are called Brookville, Campbellville, and Moffat. So far, we've looked at policy areas where Milton has limited options for the new official plan. However, based on our research, when looking at living in rural Milton, we've identified a number of areas where we do have policy options. Specifically, Milton could recognize the uniqueness and the past, present, and future of Milton's rural area including the hamlets, through an independent vision, goals, and policies for development and redevelopment in rural Milton. The hamlet designations and permitted uses could be updated to achieve Milton's vision, goals, and objectives. The official plan could include policies to support broadband infrastructure, and the new official plan could outline a description of the importance, need, and measures to specifically engage with Milton's rural population. Milton's new official plan could do more to protect and promote rural character. When we talk about rural character, we're often referring to the sense of place that one feels within a rural setting. 
This sense of place may be created by certain rural characteristics, such as agricultural activity, low population density, and sociocultural history, as well as landscapes and natural heritage features, or even things like sounds and smells that are observed in rural environments. In our list of policy areas where we do have options, we talked about promoting broadband infrastructure throughout rural Milton and other places that are underserved. Broadband refers to internet access that is always connected and faster than traditional dial-up. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted gaps in broadband access across Ontario. Even though broadband is not a municipal responsibility, many regional and local governments are becoming more engaged in promoting telecommunications infrastructure, given the growing need and existing gaps. If you're interested in shaping the future of Milton and want to contribute to land use policies related to living in Milton, please complete our survey. We need the community's feedback. Visit letstalkmilton.ca forward slash we make Milton from May 25th to June 7th to provide your feedback.